Tuesday. I'm on the way home from work. Haven't seen you guys since last week because we had to go to Shide, obviously. So check out Shide's uh, or Pure Flow Air Dogs recap video of Shide on the Pure Flow Air Dog YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to that as well. I obviously made that video. I work for Air Dog. So that's what I was doing all weekend at Shide, and that's why I'm not able to get a video um, at Shide doing a walk around and, and stuff because I'm actually there for my legitimate main job. So, um, anyways. While we were at Shide, Mason and Skyler obviously took the blue truck and right off the trailer did a 740, which was awesome. Put that clip in now. And then for eliminations or for qualifying he did a 780 I think so he got a pretty good qualifying spot but then he accidentally missed the second round of qualifying due to an error with the trucks wiring but was able to uh, get to the eliminations round one and got knocked out by Nick Morris so Nick Morris usually gets like first or second place so it's kind of like oh man whenever he's rolling up there next to him but did get knocked And on the 01, we got a new motor put in it, and it is running and driving. Um, I bought a 140,000 mile true 2001 engine. Get it home, I was putting the flywheel clutch on it, and I noticed that the motor didn't really spin over like I thought it was at first. And it had a little bit of rust around the top of the cylinder on cylinder number one, so I had to pull the head off of it, put a head gasket on it right off the bat. That didn't mean I'll stick it in the truck. We got it cleaned up good, and I don't think it damaged the cylinder um, bad enough to where it actually hurt anything. So that was good. We got it stuck in the truck, got it running, got it driving. Drives pretty good, and he's like a U joint and stuff. And uh, guys, I'll be honest with you, I just got a little overwhelmed with how much work was piling up on that truck, and I just had to get it done real quick. I really wanted to make a video putting it back in the truck, but I just I had so much I really needed to do, and. I just got a little overwhelmed and anxious to get it done so I got it running real quick and it's running and it's running great so that's good but um, we ha I have other plans that we're gonna do videos on it here soon um, so picked up a couple things for it over the weekend so we should be able to stick those in the truck and that should be awesome all right guys you will have to mind the fingerprints all over this thing I just haven't had time to wash it yet and the bumpers not really aligned the best but here she is um, all complete put back together Corey's truck the transmissions out of it. So that's why it's sitting here I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm not a fan of the fortune bumper Absolutely do not like them. Ugh, it just doesn't it just doesn't look good, but um, Yeah, it kind of looks like a lot of this is handprints, but it's just kind of where the paints coming off But it is a pretty decent truck um, it Has no exhaust on it just to open down pipe right now. So that's pretty 
pretty crappy really to drive around it sucks really bad um it still needs uh, cleaned up under here the fan shroud is broke i didn't have a good fan shroud to put on it um i only had like half of one and the only reason that was even there is just to hold this coolant reservoir so we got to get a fan shroud new battery terminal ends and then i want to get some stuff painted under the engine bay but everything's hooked up we don't have a bunch of obnoxiously large amount of wires running around anywhere fires right up I'll go ahead and start it for you guys so you can hear it run it does have a check engine light i need to clear due to the over boost i have those 150 horse injectors in here and with the uh, turbo and the 150 horse injectors i think i need to stick this guy right here in line this little boost fooler deal i don't know which one it is i need to plug in but need to put one of these in line to uh that might not even be the right thing to be honest uh, keep it from defueling it defuels basically because it's thinking that we're having too much boost and it does like i say have open down pipes so it sounds like crap but i'm trying to get an exhaust figured out right now order an exhaust kit i really don't care for stacks but yeah i had another phone call but i want to pull this thing in it needs a driver side front axle shaft or u-joint pretty bad so we got to go ahead and get that switched out real quick so let's pull in here put it on the lift to change this axle shaft u-joint you can see it in here one of them is missing oh i can't even spin the thing over one of these axle shaft or one of these caps is gone like the cap for it is just completely gone and broken it's not there at all so we've got to change this thing like right now it's making a lot of noise um, we got to take the c-clip out take this nut off take the caliper off of it and then there's four bolt take the hub or the rotor off brakes are in pretty good shape really we probably you know, we ain't gonna put brakes on axle shaft out it took me about 30 45 minutes to get it out of there the previous whoever did the front end of this last anesthesized everything so whoever that was mint seriously though that makes it so much easier i i was literally able to beat the wheel hub assemblies out so we got it out um you guys can kind of see this u joint which by the way we're gonna have to stop and clean up because i'm i let it get so bad in here this last time we did the motor swap and ugh, just nasty in here so we're gonna have to stop and clean for like 30 minutes but that was the noise i was hearing when i was turning and it's actually guys it's it was binding up the steering wheel i would go to turn and it would like <laughs> jerk the wheel back because this is always spinning no matter what and it was making it kind of weird feeling to drive so all right guys i just went ahead and actually purchased some new used wheels new to me uh, used wheels for the truck and i just got them put on and i gotta say it looks pretty sick i'm not gonna lie these are 20 by 10s 305 55 20 and she's looking good on those still hating that fortune bumper but other than that looking pretty good it's got quite a bit of stance too from the back she's looking all right but Kaylin is almost here and we are going to run to town so i can get that u-joint get this thing put back together all right guys i got everything cleaned up tonight got all my tools put up and everything finally and i am soaking this u-joint in oil because I cannot get it changed. I have heated it to the point where I've almost had to just cut it in half. I don't really want to do that. So I'm soaking it in oil all night. Hopefully this will kind of get down and lubricate everything. And we can get it broke loose. I've been beating on it, beating on it. You can't really get it in a press and hold it good enough. Normally, like I said, I use a ball joint press. But I just haven't um, pulled the trigger on a ball joint press. Or a ball joint, um, what do they even call them? ball joint press haven't pulled the trigger on one yet just because they're like seven eight hundred dollars for a good one and i just it's always just a little bit um out of my way to just go grab my buddies i always use his um 
So yeah, I just haven't got one. If I had one, I'd be knocking this job out in no time, but we still do have the truck tore down. As you can see, just got to put the U-joint on, throw everything back on it. But yeah, we got our new wheels in here, so she is looking good. Nice little bit of stance, and then we have to get an exhaust kit still. Let's see, quite a bit of stance with these on the second gen, so. That's gonna do it for tonight. I'll catch up with you guys in tomorrow. I got the wheel put back on the Cummins, and we are about to run to town. You notice the bumper's off. Well, I got a little surprise. Really, I'm just extremely happy that I was able to find this. It couldn't have got any better than to find a already painted white sport bumper, and the gentleman that I traded, he wanted a fortune. So he's happy, I'm happy. We don't have to paint anything. We can put it right on. The grill's not in the best shape, but that's no big deal. The bumpers are what's hard to find. So we're gonna stick the sport bumper on it real quick. Just gonna bolt her on real quick. And then we're gonna take this girl to town and wash her up. Oh man, guys, yeah, I'm so excited about all this right now. We also have a five inch exhaust kit on the way. I ordered that today. So super excited about all this, but let's get the bumper on because it's starting to get dark and I don't want to be out all night. Get the bumper on, put the grill on, and we'll roll to town this thing. All right guys, finally got it all put on. Bumper's not aligned perfect. It's in a huge hurry to get it put on as usual because I want to go to town. So Caitlin needs to go to town so I really want to drive it. And I can get it washed up while I'm there, but check it out guys. Thing looks sick. Need to get some billet inserts and there's handprints all over it still. But she looks good guys. I am so happy with this thing such a badass truck but i'm gonna get the shop closed up and we'll take a first spin all right guys we're here in the truck and i figured i'd give you guys a little i mean it's open down pipe but give you guys a little uh sound clip going through the gears uh six gear does grind a little bit if you shift it fast so you gotta slow it down this guy's revving up at me but let's go through the gears here when the light turns green guys we just stopped at the O'Reilly's and we got our AC working only works on only works on high that's weird ice cold air conditioning though guys um, got the blend doors working so it'll change in between all those so now we're gonna head on home so we got lucky there got our AC working not not gonna complain at all